Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest where we are here once again finally <laughs> with Solstice and his howling and the uh, the rest of the Beaver Creek pack. Now uh, it's been a little while. Um, life got kind of crazy. <laughs> a lot of things have happened and I apologize for my audio being slightly scuffed. I moved to a new room. Audio setup isn't the best. Uh, it's going to be this way for a little bit and hopefully then it will get better. But uh, we're trying to grow our pups currently. We have Aspen, Beaver, and Willow. Beaver is our runt, and they're actually at 13 pounds, which means they don't have that much longer before they're going to be ready for the rendezvous site. Uh, but we're going to be here at the den for a little bit more. It is dawn as well, you can see. So we're probably going to uh, go ahead and woof these guys in the den. And um, is something going to show up? Y'all? Guys, there they go. <laughs> was like, oh, yep, it do be eagle attack time. All right, um, Willow, can we go in the den? Can we go in the den, Willow? There we go. She's gonna go in the den. Where is the eagle? It's so early, I can't even see it. All right, I'm gonna, res I'm gonna just not super look for it. I'm gonna focus on keeping the pups in the den because, oh, there it is. Actually, it's right up there. Because uh, as long as they're here, it's not gonna be too bad. But uh, we're going to have these guys go do some beaver hunting and maybe some territory marking too because I assume that's probably going to uh, gonna need some work. Now, it's been a long time since I've recorded this file and a lot has happened with Wolf Quest. We have the new achievements. If you're following us on Twitch, which you should if you're interested in seeing live streams and also the J Plays 2 channel if you want to catch the bods afterwards, um, you can uh, see how we've been working towards some of those, but we're going to be sharing the same file between both of them. We're going to go over to the beaver trail over here. So we've unlocked some achievements already there. We might unlock some more on this file. We'll have to see. Unfortunately, we already got the beaver's achievement, so we can't get that with Cricket, but uh, who knows what, what one she might get. And how is our territory, by the way? It's actually not terrible, but I think this is getting claimed. So we might want to, uh, might want to take a swing by there and just make sure but we're gonna go eat now uh there there's been a lot that's happened i don't know if we'll actually be able to get all the achievements in this file or not because it is an older one um but uh, the other big thing that's happened in my life is uh i got a cat <laughs> her name is evelyn and uh, she may she may pop her head in she's she's laying outside my room right now she likes to yell and um oh is that a that's a carcass isn't it no that's um this is regurgitated meat. Yeah, I was like, that's not actually a below carcass. Or where is this trail? Or And are there any beavers on it? It's right over here. Now I see the end of it. Uh, but yeah, she might be joining us. Um, she is, uh, she's only been here for a few weeks. She's a very sweet kitty, but uh, she, she has, <laughs> she does everything at maximum volume and uh, she's probably gonna be convinced that it's food time pretty soon. It is not quite, but uh, she may, uh, she may pop it. Oh beaver time i think it's beaver time yep i think it do be beaver time all right can i see the trail from here oh oh solstice so watch out okay we are downwind so that did not smell us let's go further up the trail because that do be a beaver i'm pretty sure yeah there's a couple of them coming up the trail here all right where does it end um but she also might be uh convinced she wants to come in my room and uh it's very funny she she hates my rug for for no discernible reason and so when she wants to um oh solstice stay on this side stay on this side solstice um when she wants to uh, come in my room instead of my bed she um uh oh a random computer alerts <laughs> just uh just chilling here but uh, she stands in my doorway and yells because she does not want to walk on my rug. I really don't know why. She's actually, <laughs> she is out there right now, but she's just chilling. So we may, we may see a visit from Evelyn. Ev, do you want to say hi? She does not. She's taking a bath. <laughs> but you may hear her at some point. So that's what the cat noise is. Um, and she'll probably be in a video at some point. There we go. I think we got it. Yeah beaver time. All right, we did pretty good if we actually... Oh, it's not quite down. There we go. All right, let's actually pull this one away. Oh, the other one is leaving. Yeah, that one's leaving. Okay. Um, we might still be able to surprise it, but we may not have to. Um, but yeah, so if you hear any meowing in the distance, that's just Evelyn stopping in to say hello and possibly I want to uh, <laughs> want it to be lifted past the rug. <laughs> I don't know why she does this. She, she's quite the character. If you follow me on Twitter, you may have heard of some of her uh, escapades thus far. 
so that's that's a lot of the new stuff and there's a, a lot of new things that are, are coming up some things that i can't really discuss just yet but um yeah a lot of things have been happening lately a lot of things are going to continue to happen things might get a little bit crazy here on, on twitch for a bit here as i'm sorting out some irl stuff but i'm gonna do my best to properly come off hiatus now that i think my audio is at least a little bit less scuffed than it was and uh, we're gonna be starting to get back into youtube and get back into doing some of these uh some of, the, some of these things oh yeah we've got this trail here i'm pretty sure this wasn't here the last time we played there's a wagon trail that runs through slaw creek because there's i think it is a cabin i think if i remember from the devlog about this there's a cabin that you can only get to with a wagon and so occasionally wagons come through and um bring supplies in real life uh not in the game there's just the trail here uh and not the actual wagons so unfortunately Unfortunately, we won't get to see them, but uh, we will be um, we will be heading out this way. Oh, there there do be an elk herd, but it's not. Uh, I don't I don't think it's worth hunting them after we just hunted beavers. We've got enough food to bring back to the puppies, and I don't think they'll be that hungry. So I'm gonna go mark some territory. We'll stop back. Oh, baby time. Well, it was baby time. Somewhere around here, then, there is a solo mother of some species. Could be mule deer, could be elk, but uh, that does make sense because usually around the time, yeah, an aspen is getting it to, um, to be about 13 pounds. Usually somewhere in that range, when your pups start getting to be a little bit bigger, you start to see the babies popping up. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. But I'm going to go mark some territory. We'll get back to our babies, and uh, we will, from then on out, uh, we'll see how things go. Oh! There's the baby. <laughs> and where is the mother? I don't actually see where she went. Somewhere around here. Oh, there she is. Somewhere around here there was an elk mother. And uh, she's unfortunately a little bit too late. We managed to snatch her calf. I think we did this so early that we didn't actually complete the quest, it seems like. Uh, so, rip. But we'll have some extra food to bring back to our babies now. And I don't like smelling stranger wolves. I assume they're from outside of our territory. It's Crevice Lake. Yeah, they're probably over in this area and not in this hex, so it's probably alright. But we're gonna do a little territory marking and get back to our pups. Ah, here we go, official quest. And uh, it seems like we, we already completed this one technically, this is an elk calf, but I don't think it actually registered if we look here, if we look at our quests. Nope, they still want us to kill a newborn elk calf, so we'll have to do that again at some point. Uh, but not right now, we've already got one. We'll bring this back to the babies once we've finished marking that one piece of territory that's a little bit, uh, a little bit low at the moment. Alright, we are just about back. I can see the den in the distance there, and, uh, we managed to mark that territory. We got a nice elk calf that I think should be more than enough for three puppies. Uh, I think that should be just fine, and we'll probably have a little left over for Cricket and Solstice, too, once these guys have eaten. Um, but yeah, we definitely gotta continue to keep an eye out, too, because... Oh! Portable Picnic! We brought back a fawn or calf carcass to our pups, so that is the first achievement that I think we've gotten on YouTube. Uh, we've gotten a few of them on Twitch, and again, if you do want to see our other adventures over there, I stream most of the time twice weekly. Usually it's been on Tuesday and Thursday at... That's a hair. <laughs> Usually it's been on Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. PST uh, at JZX535 on Twitch. You can find that link in the video description and you can find the VODs that uh, have been archived on the JPlays2 channel here on YouTube, which I believe is also in the video description. Definitely make sure to go and check that out if you want more JPlays content. Uh, I've been trying to be streaming Solstice. You good? <laughs> he, he, he's being a little grumpy today, I guess. Um, but if you want more JPlays content, you can check that out there, and if you jump in live on Twitch, you'll have the chance to participate, submit things like pup names, mate names, and vote on what we're going to do. It's uh, Our Wolf Quest series there is very centered on uh, user, user input, or uh, uh, viewer input, so if you guys want the chance to participate live and actually influence what happens, that's a great opportunity for y'all to do that. Um, Beaver? I'm gonna howl, I'm gonna try to get the affinity up, and then I'm gonna woof these guys briefly back in the den, because I want to finish this, um, this carcass, and I think they've all eaten already. I think... Yeah, they're all pretty full. So let's move them back in the den. A little worried we're gonna have stranger wolves show up, because we did have an, uh, incident with Junction Butte at the other den. Uh, it was a little bit weird. Uh, Solstice is from the Junction Butte pack. He is the, or was the 2M member of it, and, um... Yeah, he, uh, he sure ain't anymore. 
sure he sure ain't anymore, but there's another two M member that looks exactly like him. It's weird. Uh, Cricket encountered that wolf and was not quite sure what to do about it, so Solstice apparently has a doppelganger, and that's a little bit of a, a scary thing. Hey bud, you want food? He might not be that hungry. Uh, he's at 96. How much is left? Solstice, you, sh you should be able to have some of this if you want it. I guess he doesn't want it. I'm just a little scared that it's going to attract predators. But let's call the puppies back out. And uh, we will take a snooze because it do be the middle of the day. And that is uh, the time when the Beaver Creek Pack tends to sleep. And uh, we'll probably have, have the chance to search for rendezvous sites soon because I think we are getting pretty close to 14 pounds. So it would do us well to try and figure that out. Of course, we're going to want to make sure there are beavers nearby. It do be a little later in the day. Cricket had some kind of weird, kind of scary dreams, not gonna lie. Actually, oop, guys, guys, why don't we go back? I'm, <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna woof him back for now because I want to bring this over to the den. Uh, we will let them, okay, it doesn't look like anything is attacking us, so we can call them back. I think that'll stop them from actually going in. Well, they might have to go back all the way back in and then come back out. But I just didn't want them running all the way over there to get the food. Um, it is safe for them now, I think. We'll sleep a little while longer so that it gets closer to dusk. Because that is, again, when the beaver packs tends to be most active when the beavers are, which is at uh, dawn and dusk. So we don't tend to hang out too much in the middle of the day or the night like uh, we are right now. Aspen? Hun, let's not. Oh, Willow is going over there too. Willow, no! Willow, no! Oh my goodness. All right. Um, how are we all doing on food? Did Aspen get his fill there? Solstice came running back in in a hurry. Everybody's doing all right. So let's uh, let's go ahead. We will eat a little bit. Oh, not while Willow's eating though. I guess um, we will take a snack as well, and maybe Solstice. Solstice just stood right on top of it. <laughs> we'll take a little bit of a snack here. If we don't finish it, we'll try to see if Solstice will, but he may not. Um, Solstice! My guy, are you okay? <laughs> He's feeling antsy. I wonder if it's because of this whole doppelganger business. Well, let's take a bit of a snooze, and we'll set out again at dusk. Alright, it's a little bit later now. We're gonna go beaver hunting, maybe rendezvous site hunting, although it hasn't officially shown them up for us yet, I don't think. We go to our map. No, we can't see the rendezvous sites yet, so it might be wise to uh, kind of poke around. I think it'd be good for these guys maybe to go looking for other beaver trails, because I know most of the rendezvous... Oh, that was just a change in music. I thought that was like the illness track for just half a second, and I was like, hmm. But I think we're, I think it's when all of them are at 14 pounds and Bieber has a little bit left to go. So it's not quite time, but let's go and sniff around. We'll see if we can find any other beaver trails over here. Because we definitely want to find some places over on the other side of the river for them to camp out. Hello, Bison. Uh, and I don't think there's too many rendezvous sites on this side of the river. So I think, hello, Moose, that uh, we want to make sure we do that. Oh, it looks like we actually do have some of the new items here. Interesting. So we found a, we found a den. Do we have this one marked? I guess we did. But uh, apparently there's a plastic cooler up here too. I think Cricket might investigate that. Oh, was it down here? Did we miss it? No, it's still from up here. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Um, I think Cricket might go poking around and investigate that. I don't think we've actually seen this one yet either. Uh, there's, I think, eight scavenger hunt items everywhere. And, oh, the cooler over here. It might be worth, I wonder if there's any beaver trails near McBride. There could be, oh, it's up here. Hey, plastic cooler. <laughs> well, that's um, that's a little bit of a, uh, of a, a surprise here. We got the plastic cooler. So we got that. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Um, I think Cricket would probably, she's not like the most, um, she's not like the most fascinated by by human items, I think. I think we've had other wolves that are, are more so, um, I think some of our Twitch wolves have been. But, you know, I think she'd carry it around a little bit and then probably drop it up here. Uh, I don't think she'd bring it all the way back to the den. Right now she's on, uh, on beaver trailing mode and unfortunately we haven't really found any uh, which is a bit of a concern because this is the Beaver Creek pack and that's pretty high on Cricket's list of something she wants is to make sure that we're near to beavers. Now we do have to watch her affinity a little bit. It do be the middle of night as well, so it's kind of a little bit lower visibility than normal, but I've just been running along the creek, well aside from 
I'm running up there and uh, kind of trying to find if there's any beaver trails leading away from it, like just the footprints on the ground. They should have been up the trail by this time of night. So I've just been sniffing around, unless there's one right this way, which there might be. I know we found another lodge at one point, but I don't remember exactly where it was. Um, but I've just been looking to see if there's any coming off the river this way over here. Because unfortunately, it seems like we might have to abandon our very advantageous beaver hunting spot when we go to the rendezvous site. And that would be a big bummer for these guys, I think. So I'm going to keep looking and then I'll double back to the den. And we will probably sleep until, uh, until dawn and then do an actual hunt. But I don't know, you guys. I'm not super hopeful right now. I'm not seeing too much. Now, yeah, I'm really not seeing any... But, oh, there, I'm seeing a bear. That's not ideal. And we are in Stranger Wolf territory. Uh, now, the thing is, there are beavers over in those mountains. However, we're already quite far away from the den. And so is the area over here. I think there are rendezvous sites kind of in this region. And those might be our best bet. But I'm not 100% sure. So it might be... Um, might be kind of a tricky matter once we actually go to um, to settle in and at a rendezvous site. We might have to do some additional looking because honestly, our prospects are pretty far away. It seems like I don't know for sure, but I know Cricket doesn't want to give up on hunting beavers. She might have a little bit of an easier time of that now because there are also the. Um, the calves and fawns to find and that kind of is similar in tactics. I feel like she feels more experienced with them because it's very sim similar to beaver hunting. Oh yeah, I've got the bison peak den over here as well. I'm not going to go out of my way to get that. Um, but it's definitely a dilemma and we'll have to see what Cricket and Solstice end up choosing. But we're going to get back to the den, we'll sleep through the night and then in the morning we'll do another little bit of a hunting and see how things wind up. Oh, right, Dawn is here. Let's just play with the puppies a little bit, make sure we get their affinity up, and then we'll go do a quick beaver hunt and probably wrap up with that. Definitely some decisions for the Beaver Creek pack, and at least we haven't had another run-in with the uh, strange Junction Butte doppelganger. Is that just a hair? Most likely that is. Yeah, it's a hair. It's definitely her. Okay, let's go back in the den. Oh no, did I speak too soon? Guys, let's go back in the den now, please. Where are these wolves? Okay, guys, guys, you need to be in the den immediately. I don't, I don't see the wolf. Solstice is watching him. Okay, get out of here. Oh no, I don't think it is. Okay, who are you? It is Junction Butte. Get out of here. Get out. Well, it was a- oh, <laughs> we got the nobody messes with me achievement too. Defend your den from predators. I guess that's the first time we've done it since the achievement system was added. Well, I think that- I think that would put uh, Cricket a little bit on edge, considering that was Junction Butte, but it seems like it was just those two and not, uh, not Solstice's doppelganger. So it is, uh, it's disconcerting, but it's not as disconcerting as it could have been. All right, so the wind direction is going this way. We want to circle the trail and see who all was it? 2F and 1M. Oh, that's uh, that's Mr. Butte himself. <laughs> uh, he he do be do be checking out, I guess. Um, uh, Cricket has fought him before, I seem to recall, and uh, that that would be Solstice's dad. So he's uh, he doesn't seem too happy with his um, his son branching off to start a rival pack. Uh, which, fair enough, I guess. Fair enough. But, okay, where is this trail? I always lose this trail. <laughs> it's somewhere over here. Okay, beaver scent is this way. Um, is this the top of the trail? No. Where does it- oh, there- Solstice, 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 oh, darn it, okay. We scared that one. There is another one leaving. Alright, Solstice, watch out. Why don't we circle it, try to get cut it off. And then, um, do we, that's a coyote, that's a coyote, all right. Solstice, um, Solstice here. Stay, stay back from the trail a little bit and, um, make sure you crouch. There we go. He's got it. He's got it. We should be able to jump this beaver and just got to get a little bit closer and that should be a pretty decent snack for the pack, I think. Let's go ahead and jump it. 
We probably didn't get as much of a bonus as we could have. Oh, 87 is still not bad. All right. We got quite a lot, but Solstice is take, taking uh, taking a bite there too. Oh, no, 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 you don't. Do not. You're not going to escape. You need to be our dinner <laughs> or our breakfast, I guess. All right. Um, hello, Solstice. Let's go ahead and we'll play bow to him. He, he's excited. He's a very good beaver hunter as well. He learned quite quickly, but... Where is... Oh, there's the carcass. Let's go ahead and eat this, and then we will, um... We'll bring some back to the bays. All right, we are back at the den, and uh, it's uh, time to say... It's time to say hello, and then also goodbye to... Well, hello to the pups, goodbye to the episode. Um... Guess we will be wrapping up here for today, I think. Let's just make sure we feed them. I let Solstice have most of that beaver because he was getting a little bit low, so he should be up pretty well now. I think he's probably, yeah, he's at almost 100. We'll be fine. So we'll just let these guys eat. I think Cricket is uh, definitely, definitely still a little concerned by the Junction Butte attack. Um, she's going to continue maintaining the territory as much as she can because we don't want to, we don't want to have any other weird run-ins. If the rendezvous sites take us farther away from the Junction Butte pack, that might be a good thing. But did these guys all eat? It looks like they did. So we're going to go ahead and end this off here for today, I think, because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.